Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they say they're going out this and all that? Tired of beefing you pumps, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga so Girl, I'm on my way. Today, I don't even know how this morning turned out this crazy. But, hey, good morning, and welcome back to another day in my life. So, today, girl. It is Saturday. Today is Saturday, May 21st. I am on my way to do a prom client right now. And then straight after that, I'm going to my content creation job. So I'm just taking you guys with me on the go so you guys can see what my, uh, kind of like a peek in the behind the scenes day in my life. I know I do that anyway, because I'm vlogging all the time but i figured i would kind of switch it up a little bit and just do like a simple actual day in my life because you guys kind of see like clips and stuff and you really don't really know um so you know i just figured i would just switch it up so that's what we are doing now we are on our way to a prom client i got all my stuff with me and yeah that's what it's giving this was like a last minute thing like this lady just called me and was like hey can you do makeup today for my prom girl so i was like of course and i'm going to her and then straight after that I'm, I'm going to another gig i told her i'm running a little bit late this morning because well this afternoon because girl this wasn't planned you know she just called me like maybe an hour ago and i was literally like on my computer working doing some stuff for my business and i got the call and i'm like girl say less so that's what I'm up to and I feel like this vlog is going to kind of be like all over the place a little bit but that's how my life is literally all over the place. So I guess I'm right on brand. Oh, so the bag pretty. is like crossed and then it's like the bottom is open. I've been so, I've been so. Yeah. so it's like out. Look it has action back. <laughs> I'm like ooh. Yeah. I like how it pops out at the bottom. I wanted to go along the theme of silver, gold, and black. Silver, gold, and black. They look good together. Like your nails, I like how it looks on your nails. Yeah, yeah. Try myself inside the jewels. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. I'm just alone. <laughs> no, I need to have one. Either I'm doing the side or I'm doing the. Okay, down. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just move around. Okay, I'll look down. And then you just look down. And, and then, then I'll look up. And then you'll look up okay. when I come like back right here. Okay. Okay, cool. You wanna see him or no? Yes, I do. Aww. Yes. I'm on my way to my other little gig that I have going on. So this is more of like a content creator gig. And with this, you'll kind of you'll kind of see like what I be doing. I'll show y'all, of course. But my battery is dying, of course. And so I have limited juice so i'm gonna try to get as much footage as i possibly can without before my phone or my camera die and then whatever i don't get i'm gonna just put on my phone hopefully so but yeah i'm on my way now i'm a little bit late because there was no parking hopefully hopefully i don't get ran over and then i don't be having service either so that also makes it hella sketchy but anyways i'll tap in with y'all later I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking, now, now I'm thinking, now. Do you need a mirror? 
Tell me what you need. I got you. I got you. Let me get let me get that for you too because um, hold on. Let me have you ready so you can clean yourself up. I'm gonna get you uh, some uh, paper towels. Oh, okay. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Let me say, I'll be talking. <laughs> I thought I followed you already. So I just left brunch, went to the district on Crenshaw. It was such a nice vibe, y'all. I feel so good. I only had one mimosa, you know, I'm trying to keep it tight. For brunch, I had I had salmon and grits. And when I tell you the grits were amazing, wow, he was pretty pissed off, huh? The grits were so bomb, girl. I had to get a to-go. Like, I had to get something to-go. It was so good. I ain't had grits like that in a, in a minute. So these grits were bomb. Food was good, music was good, had like a live band. It was just a nice vibe. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that is gonna be one of my spots. I wanna go there. Oh, I am supposed to be turning right here. Shoot! Drinks was good, I had a mimosa. I had a pineapple mimosa, so that was new. That was different, never had a pineapple mimosa before. The ambiance was good, it was just like all types of vibes going on. I liked that it was like all black people, like literally like all black people. Black people worked there. So it was just a really nice vibe. I'm gonna go back at night right there i'm gonna go back at night because i want to see and feel and experience the nighttime the nightlife there i know that it's going to be like a good vibe and i know it's going to be lit so now i'm on my way to my content creator gig so we want to i'm gonna take a couple pictures with what i got on because i think i look really nice today like i look really elegant pretty so i'm like yeah i'm gonna take some pictures try to get maybe a couple videos in and yeah get my content in there so that is what I am doing and I'll tap in with you all when I get there, okay? And I guess it is Sunday. I'm working on a Sunday. Who would have thought? But it'd be like that. Oh, they, they let them go. Isn't that nice? Can I go? You see this lady let me go. Oh, oh my God. So we are on our way to get a facial. I am so excited because I haven't gotten a facial since my birthday. So I'm going back to the same lady to give me a little facial. I'm getting the same type of facial. But this time, because I really liked the chemical peel, we're going to take it up a notch. Okay, so she said we're taking it up a notch. We're going to go the next level, I think is what? I think it's 30%. So that's what we doing today girl i got so much to do today actually today between today and tomorrow i got a lot of little running around i need to do some stuff will get done some stuff won't i'm just tired of stressing about it so i'm just like listen i just want to get get my vacation started and just you know so that is what we're doing today i'm getting my lashes done straight after this appointment so i'm going 
you know girl just get ready okay i'm gonna go on vacation soon so i just want to get ready and you never know who i might run into so yeah but i definitely need fresh skin for the win and your girl needs some lashes i haven't had my lashes on in so long so my appointment for my facial was at 3 30 i should be there at about i'll be there in about nine minutes six minutes so i'll be there at like 3 17 which is perfect hopefully that'll only take about two hours and then i gotta go to long beach to get my lashes done so girl with your girl we, we about to be ripping and running and then i need to do laundry tomorrow i need to pack i need to wash my hair tonight like i got oh shoot these kids fighting oh no she got playing with him oh shoot okay the kids is fighting um oh he messing with her that's what it is yeah he messing with her and she yeah girl yeah <laughs> so anyway um, I got a lot of little running around to do. I need, to, I need to wash my hair. I got to do laundry. I got to start packing. I haven't packed a thing. I got to like do, I need to get some more foundation. I might just get that when I get home. I don't know. Regardless, I got a lot of little stuff I need to do. <clears throat> and you know, I just been, so y'all quick little rundown, like backstory, little update on what's been going on with me. So I have been, whew, girl, I've been working and I've been, you know, working on my brands working on my personal my business and then i also have picked up a oh i like this little sign it says black students matter i'm gonna see if y'all can if y'all can see it it's so cute right i like that but um so you know i have been working doing that and then i picked up a little gig where it's basically like a little content creator gig i'm gonna insert some, I'm gonna insert some little clips in there so y'all can see and it's part time so you know i've been doing that and i've been having a lot of fun with it it's been giving me you know some ideas on what to do with my own company and it's just been a lot of fun well they have offered me like a step up from that and then i also have just been offered another um girl that is just so good that's all i'm gonna say um but, you know, I've been offered, like, some good, decent-paying jobs. And so, if y'all have been following, if y'all been watching my last couple of vlogs, y'all know I've been really, like, trying to get going with my own business. And, you know, ever since I've been out of a job, since pretty much February, I have just been telling myself, like, okay, you know, I'm going to just do what I need to do to get my business going and get myself together, you know, because... I don't want to work for anyone else and the opportunities have just been like you know coming at me so i've just been trying to position myself and figure out so since i'm not moving i'm in traffic i've just been trying to figure out you know what's gonna be best for me and this one particular job that i actually have agreed to but i still haven't signed a offer letter this is like a well-known wig wig company like a really well-known wig company i know y'all probably know it but it's nine to five and i'm just kind of like eh. like i don't want to put myself back in the position where i'm trading my time for money because i know me especially working a nine to five like all your energy goes to that all your energy literally goes to that and you just be tired and trying to do YouTube, you know, trying to stay up with my content and build a brand. I just know it's going to like my focus, something is going to be neglected in that process. So I'm just trying to figure out like what's going to be best for me. So I told myself, you know, while I'm on vacation and everything, I'm going to just make sure I really think about where I see myself in the next six months to a year and what's going to help me to get there. If if any of these opportunities that are presenting themselves don't align or look like where I'm trying to head for myself and my brand and my business and my growth, then I don't know. They may be really good opportunities, but I don't want it to. Sometimes, you know, and this just may be me growing up and realizing like all my life I have worked so hard, not all my life, but since I have started working, since I started working when I was 14, I have just poured so much of myself into my work ethic and just being a good worker for someone else and now I'm approaching 30 and I'm like you know what this is my last year's in my 30s I need to show up for myself 
Like it's time to show up for myself and start doing the things that I know that God has put on my heart for me to do and fulfill. And I can't show up for everybody else, everybody else's brand, everybody else's business and not be there for myself and neglect the things that God has led me to or told me to do and I haven't. So that's just where I'm at with things, you know. And I just got to be real with myself. So I'm going to really just take this time these next two weeks being out on vacation. I'm going to just take some time to really think about, you know, where I see myself. And, you know, if the things that I'm pursuing are going to actually help me or hinder me or delay me rather, you know. So if it's going to help me, then cool. If it's going to delay me, then I just got to let it go. And I just been I'm, I'm glad that I came up with that. And I'm glad I'm sitting here thinking because. I've really just been stressed out these last couple of days. Like, I haven't been vlogging, obviously. I haven't vlogged in a while. And I'm kind of behind on my vlogs. So, I, whenever I get behind on my vlogs, I don't want to start vlogging again until I know that, you know, I don't want to start vlogging until I catch up. So, I'm just trying to, you know, figure it out and make the best decisions. But, girl, I need me some me time. So, I'm getting these lashes done, getting my facial uh, and we just going vibe out these next two weeks. When I get back, back to business, and it, it, it it's just going to pick up from there. Hopefully, I'm going to be recharged and ready to go. So, that's just the rundown, girl, on what has been going on with me and where I am at with things. So, you know, I've been doing really good. I've been blessed, to say the least. I have been blessed. God is really good, y'all. And I just, this journey has just been intense but I'm glad that I'm walking it and uh yeah so that's all for that little moment okay girl so we better go get our facial and I'll tap in with you guys when we get there Okay, so I finished my, my facial, right? I finished my facial at like 5.30, which was perfect timing for what I thought was about to be a lash appointment, right? My lash appointment was, uh, the lash appointment was for 7 o'clock. The lash appointment was for 7 o'clock, and it was in, where am I at? Long Beach. Long Beach is like, on a good day, an hour away from L.A., So I drive out here for my appointment that was scheduled on May 14th for today, which is May 27th, 7 p.m. Okay, so I, I pay a 40, almost a $45 deposit. I pay a $45 deposit because I guess they charge you for the, the booking site that this girl uses, they charge you a percentage of, I guess, the total for what the service is gonna be. I pay the 45 and they send me the address. Cool, I follow this girl on Instagram and so I'm just like, whatever. I have been messaging this girl, you know, trying to get my lashes done maybe since like last year because I just really like her work. Y'all know how it is. Like y'all know the whole spiel on how it is with these people. And you know, you like somebody's work, you want to get you want to get you want to get their work done so girl I get to the spot the address that I was sent is a liquor store so there is a nail salon located right next to the liquor store I said hmm why not try to go in here maybe this is you know I don't know maybe she might be in here I go in there everyone's looking at me crazy I'm like, oh, I'm here to get lashes done. Is there a girl here who does lashes? They say no. I'm like, okay. All right, so let me try to get in contact with this girl because now I need to know wh where I need to go to get my lashes done. I write her on Instagram, no response. 
I call her on Instagram, no response. So then I go and I look at the old messages from us. Um, I guess she had an assistant at the time. So she writes, she gives me the number. I, I go to the old messages and I call the number that the assistant had gave me at the time that I had last scheduled an appointment. No answer. Call that phone, call that number, no answer. I text, hey, I had an appointment for today at seven o'clock. I'm trying to find where your salon is. Can you give me a call? No response, no answer, no response. It is now, what, 7.19? My appointment was about 20 minutes ago. No response. So I'm like, okay, um, I guess I'm just gonna leave because you're not responding. There's no way for me to get in contact. I have no idea where the salon is. I don't, honestly, at this point, I'm just like, this is probably a scam. It's, it's a scam because why, why wouldn't it be? Because <laughs> it's me. <laughs> That's why. Shit like this always happens to me. And so I, at this point, I should just be used to it, right? So I'm just annoyed because I drove all the way out here. I had to get gas. So I drove, wasted my time and my gas to drive all the way to Long Beach only for you to not even give me a response. Y'all, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, let me just, let me just make this real clear. Just because you know how to do a certain service, and I say this all the time, and it's to a point where I'm just tired, and I'm tired, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of making this like a, a topic of subject. Listen, just because you know how to do hair, lashes, nails, makeup, facials, massages, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you like you like are specializing in, just because you know how, it doesn't mean that you have the work ethic. It doesn't mean you have the service, the service etiquette. It doesn't mean that you have the customer service. It doesn't mean that you are supposed to be an entrepreneur. Y'all, it, y'all gotta get it together. That's all I got. Good morning. Hold on. Oh my God, my camera's on that. Ugh. Good morning. So I'm in my car. It's the next day. It is like 620, 620-ish. I'm about to head to the gym. I'm going to just take my little pre-workout. Y'all, I'm really not feeling good this morning. Like, I feel sick, you know? I feel like that booster really, I don't know, is boostering, okay? Mmm. Mmm. So, ooh, that was that. Um, let me put my shoes on. So, girl, let me tell you why the, the girl texted me when I was on my way home after I had literally stopped filming when I was driving. She texted me and was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Apparently, she got robbed. I think she said she got robbed or she got her purse stolen. And that had... Her phone, her keys, her whole life. Her shop keys, apparently. And so, she had just got a new phone. And I'm like, I don't know if I believe that. Because when I was calling, the phone was ringing. So, I don't know. So, she was like, can you come and, um, tomorrow and I'll discount it. And I'm just like, I don't know. That kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. I, can, I know that things happen. Obviously, things happen, clearly. But I just feel like how you respond to things really will make or break the way that people, um, people, you know, you do business. Like, it can make or break things. And I feel like, I don't know, I don't really trust her. Again, I don't know this girl. I never worked with her before. I never got my lashes done by her. I've just always admired her work. And so I would always want to get lashes or something done. But the time never called for it. So I just never did it. Um, 
can't really hear myself talk. So, with that being said, the first interaction wasn't the best. So, I'm like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. If it don't, I need a backup plan. So, I've been looking and uh, searching around for other people. And this girl texts me back. So, we're going to see, y'all. Honestly, I'm just not really feeling my best this morning. And I know it's because... I did that booster shot yesterday my body feels weak and so i'm just like okay let me just try to push through and go in here and exercise and maybe i'll feel a little bit better but we'll see so i will hopefully after the gym feel a little bit better their goal right now is to plant nearly 90,000 I'm so glad that I worked out, y'all. I feel so good. Like, <sighs> I feel like my body is like thanking me right now. I don't know why. But, oh, what's going on with my car? Oh, it's in neutral. Okay. Let's not run over any birds today. You know? <laughs> I ran over one pigeon and don't know how to act. But yes, I'm so glad. My energy. I feel better. I feel so much better. I'm going to go home. I think I'm going to drink some tea this morning. Or I might drink my little detox drink so that I can just get some energy. Because, woo, yeah, I need it. I needed that. But, yeah, I'm about to go home, eat real quick, get some energy. And then I'm going to start on my hair. And then we're going to start ripping and running, finish my laundry, start packing. Y'all know the Y'all know the vibes. So, yeah, let's get it. dealing with a wig right now like clearly i just don't it's hot and i just i just want to do minimal minimal things with my hair so i'm interested to see i got two little like ponytails one of them or i was in the store for a minute but this one is 30 i think it's 32 inches long 36 so this is hella long and i was trying to think like should i get another piece like should i get two and combine it because it just seemed like it's so thin and i don't want thin so i'm about to take it open i'm about to open it now i'm about to show y'all but this is how it looks it's like a wraparound ponytail i'm in the car right now because i'm waiting on my um, watch to be finished so i'm getting my watch i'm getting the links taken out of my watch that needs to be taken out it's so pretty it's so pretty, but I feel like I don't want it to be thin. Like, I do not like no thin hair. I don't like that. Mm -mm. It's so long. But I'm like, should I get another one? Because I don't want it to be hella bony. I don't like that. Or am I doing too much? I was like, I would just get both of them and then just wrap it around. I don't know. I'm going to just... I'm doing too much. If anything, I'm going to just go between... I'm not spending another $15. I'm going to just go between these, what I have, and make it work. And if it's too skinny, then it's just too skinny. Or I'm going to try to add some more hair. I don't know. I think I'll be okay. Um, so I'm just waiting on them to be done with my watch. And then I'll be good to go. But, yeah, girl. I'm over here. Like, I do not. Oh, let me text my roommate back. I look like I'm about to fly the f away. I'm about to fly away. Mm 
Girl, so she ended up doing my lashes. Girl, that's a story for a different day. Oh, is this lash coming off? I'm going to tell y'all the story later. Let me get my bed together. Thank you.